data science, AI, and machine learning in CS. In electronics, we have embedded system, signal processing, mechatronics. In civil, we have environmental and hydro hydraulics. In mechanical, we have ad cam automation, and so on. So these are the features of the SIT. Uh, we have strong tie-up with the in industry, and we have all internships, projects related to the industry only. And we have uh, students from various countries, as well as we have collaboration with international universities. These are our industry connect activities and merits talk, talk series is one of them. Expert talks, internships, joint honor programs and consultancies, uh, MOUs, industry sponsored labs. All these are our industry connect activities that we are doing in our program. These are the expertise of the CS and IT faculties. Um, applied artificial intelligence, blockchain, medical image analysis, internet of things, cyber security, network security, natural language processing. And these are the industry collaborations of the CS and IT department, um, KPIT and uh, other companies. And these are the infrastructure at the CSIT lab. We have central servers, we have uh, GPUs, IoT equipment, and all labs are well equipped. These are the industry connect at the EMTC department. Uh, we have expertise of, of uh, we have different expertise in EMTC department, robotics and automation, artificial intelligence, embedded systems, VLSI design and communication technologies. This is the infrastructure. We have a solar pho a photovoltaic lab there in the EMDC department. These are the laboratories of the EMDC department. Now next come to the civil department. We have uh, uh, construction and infrastructure management expertise, structural engineering, transportation engineering, waste management, geotechnical engineering, and so on. And these are the industry connects with the civil department. Uh, these are the latest updates on industry connect with the civil department. And then we have a mechanical department and expertise in the composite materials, optimization techniques, computational fluid dynamics applications, e-mobility, robotics and advanced automation, advanced additive uh, lean manufacturing. These are the industry collaborations with the mechanical department. These are the facilities we have advanced robotics lab, we have QM lab, we have advanced manufacturing lab, we have advanced material research and testing lab. These are the labs of the mechanical department. Now the last is the applied science department. We have uh, different types of expertise, a composite materials and mathematical modeling of fuel, fuel, con fuel control, biofluid, mathematical biology and biomedical mathematics and nanomaterials. So these are our departmental strength of uh, applied science. They have 15 doctoral, doctoral faculty, seven patent published. 70 research publications in, in that department, 98 lakh of grant, and then different types of creative thinking, critical thinking courses are introduced in the first year. And they have international research collaboration with several universities. And uh, 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 there are several opportunities with the industry partnerships. We have joint research projects, we have research publications and patents, consultancy projects, skill de development workshops, invited talks, and FTP by industry experts. That's it, thank you. Hand over to Rutuja now. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, dear participants, for today's technical talk, we have an industry expert on IoT, Dr. Aditya Potan Raj. Uh, Dr. Aditya Potan Raj is working as a manager infrastructure architect in publishing technology solutions at Chennai. Uh, he is an established technocrat, having expertise in building IoT solutions for industrial infrastructure. Dr. Aditya has delivered many informative talks on various topics in IoT and Industry 4.0. He is an acknowledged authority on Linux and Unix-based Unix IT solutions, cloud-based infrastructure building. He has many publications in IoT research, including two patents in IoT-related work. Today, Dr. Aditya is going to speak about industrial IoT infrastructure with focus on the role of embedded systems in building such an uh, infrastructure. 
I now hand over to Dr. Aditya. Over to you, sir. Thanks, ma'am. I hope my voice is clear and audible to everyone. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, my first wish is to Symbiosis Institute of uh, Technology for organizing such a tech uh, series because I'm able to see the presentation which was sir has presented where I'm able to see uh, the top-notch technologies or the niche technologies whichever is uh, required by the industry is being offered by Symbiosis Institute of Technology specifically related to electronics and telecommunication engineering where I concentrated here in the presentation, I'm able to see robotics and even embedded system specialization in MTech. All those uh, courses are being offered. So my wishes for them. Hello, Aditya, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would appreciate if you can put on your video. Sure. Uh, okay. Just yeah. a sec. Yeah. Because I need to connect to a different video device. So. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me try to do it parallelly. Okay. Thank you. So my, my wishes to CBS Institute of Technology for the same. And parallelly, let me start with the presentation which I have for today. So as uh, Madam insisted regarding the embedded systems for industrial internet, uh, internet of things, IOT. So it is not just by the word, we need to have the use of embedded systems for industrial internet of things. Whatever we have in our hands is actually an embedded system, which people in direct wise or in a way of indirect wise use together for their day-to-day -day usage. So I can explain that in a better manner on what all the scope of the internet of things over the embedded systems is there. Along with it, what is being progressed over the industry for the Internet of Things and what as students uh, you are required to know or to enrich your knowledge related to the embedded systems. So these are the three major focus areas which I am planning to cover for today. Uh, specifically, two are talking points of first related to the Internet of Things, second related to the industrial Internet of Things, and third, related to the usage of embedded systems in inter Internet of Things. So obviously, while I'm explaining about the IoT and IIoT itself, you'd be able to understand the actual fact why we need uh, the usage of embedded systems or the devices, embedded devices for the Internet of Things. So uh, let us proceed in that way. So proceeding with the Internet of Things. So first, as a briefer explanation, I can give Internet of Things because the entire society is moving towards the automation and analytic systems, right? So related to whatever it may be, it may be related to networking or it may be related to sensing or by a big data or even with the artificial intelligence where even in the slides you can see a lot of machine learning and artificial intelligence technologies has also pitched in uh, towards both academic as well as the industrial streams for providing a product as a service because the industry which is highly booming in the current market is the service industry even during the shortfall of resources during the COVID the service industry has not fallen down right so uh, in order to assure a greater transparency or to assure a good control and also with a good performance into an industry or a system so the entire society is moving towards or that is the entire technological society is moving towards the IoT systems and also to understand the applications, whichever the industry is being focused upon related to the IoT systems. So in a simple term, we can say that the main requirement of the IoT system is to enable the automation in the operations, whichever was done manually previously. So that we can say in a simple format, like it is an entire automation of the process to enable the systematic analysis for any kind of usage. So you can see whatever the usages we are going to see in the further presentation in the slides. So that is what IoT actually is. So, and the need of uh, the hardware systems or the embedded systems with the hardware plus software is also available because whenever there is a non-presence of a manual interference, we obviously need a machine to do those, right? So here is what the agenda we have for today. That is, uh, as I told previously, first with the IoT architecture, and along with the applications which we have for IoT, 
the third with respect to the iot technologies fourth one a simple example with arduino which we can say as an embedded uh, board kind of a thing and finally we can see the conclusion whatever uh, the aspects which we have reviewed previously and the scope of the future activities so going towards the internet of things here is how the evaluation of the internet of things starts from the evolution category that is starts with the pre internet then the internet with the content when www was established the second one we call it as a web 2.0 which in other words we call it as a industry 2.0 where we had a e productivity and e commerce where you can see that you might have seen before some 10 years while you, while the ug students now have been at their 10 years or 9 years so at that time the uh, productivity and e-commerce and lot of marketing stuffs are related to the electronic media came into practice then it would be now or even the period before 3 years where the social media had its major expertise like usage of skype usage of facebook usage of youtube and then before 3 years the start they started to an interaction between machine to machine whereas in the case of internet of people there was an interaction between people to people now we are focused at towards machine to machine interaction so by which the entire monitoring mechanisms the metering mechanisms automation mechanisms mechanisms and the identification mechanisms is totally being progressed by the machine to machine manner that is how the pre internet which is at the start of the entire automation community gets transformed to internet of things that is how the future technology is going to start with okay so uh, going towards so this is how the people of things that is the internet of people by using the internet the people stay connected gets transformed into internet of things where along with people even the things gets connected to the internet and people would be able to interact with the machines and even machines will be able to interact with the machines so th that's difference between both right people interacting with the machines machine understanding the people's input and again interacting with the machines so here is here is just a symbolic representation of how the actual uh, people's representation and the usage of sensors or the usage of embedded systems uh, which gets interacted with internet the entirely internet where the machine understands and able to prioritize the required need of the people or the required symbolic representations of the people so i understand whomever uh, there are close to 100 participants over this meeting right i hope at least 30 percentage of my participants would be wearing a motion sensor watch or a sensor related watches right so all these things are getting connected and which is uh, actually a base of internet of things where the human mechanism where previously for identifying the uh, ecg marks or for identifying the specificity of the glucose level or the number of walks whichever people has done they need separate separate devices where every all the devices get integrated into a single phenomena and people are wearing it for now so this is just a start phase of internet of things i am not saying like this is going to be the end of the internet of things so multiple integration of multiple features is currently into pra practice where people further stay uh, with these kind of internet of things to enable that the future of the internet of things in industry 4.0 is going to be very much ahead so it is not going to stop as like we have for now it is going to get developed in future as well so here is how the start. previously we talked about the people's interaction with the internet and the machines so now we are going to see how the machine to machine interaction is happening over the internet right so you can see that uh, machine to machine interaction is happening with the different vehicles even we are able to see a lot of petrol bunks or petrol stations which uh, just uses an automated facility instead of employing 10 or 15 employees for servicing the petrol we have the uh, automated petrol bunks in place automated teller machines already came uh, before 10 years itself and we have multiple sensor mechanisms which are available for monitoring the signals and for monitoring the security and other stuff as well so uh, specifically with respect to the each and every application we will be seeing it in the future slides just for an uh, intent view or a consolidated view i have provided these details here to everyone at the start of the slides itself so with respect to iot as a definition 
even though the systematic definition shows this in a different format so i can say uh, in a specific term like as i already said at the start of this particular session where iot is a term uh, it achieves a deeper automation or it achieves a specific thing for an analysis or an integration so all these three factors should be in a deeper way a deeper automation or a deeper analysis and a deeper integration of a system so that uh, all these areas can achieve the maximum accuracy or the maximum stabilization whichever is required for that particular system so that can be related to a sensing technology or with respect to a networking stuff or with respect to a robotic stuff so iot we cannot specifically remove iot from any of the specific technologies iot is already integrated with multiple technologies whatever it is with whatever departments we can say with respect to electronics with respect to computer science with respect to civil or with respect to mechanic because you can see this you can refer the first slide whichever we prepared previously you would be able to see artificial intelligence and machine learning and a kind of uh, uh, the actual usage of the embedded systems has been faced a touch in almost all the departments which starts from the computer previously people used to say it is only with respect to the computer science or it department then came to electronics department then now it has flourished to all the departments right so that is how uh, the internet of things actually comes into picture so we have already explained the need of uh, internet of things so actual result whichever we expect for the internet of things is nothing but the end to end automation in all the fields that is what i explained right it is not specific to any department it is related to the entire field so whatever fields it can be it starts from a layman to a big shot or a multi millionaire who uses it so now we are going through the key features of iot specifically uh, to start with the other concepts of iot i would uh, need to explain few of the things related to artificial intelligence which is actually a key feature of iot because all these top notch technologies which just have evolved in a shorter span of time has got integrated with iot because uh, iot is a thing which makes everything a virtual kind of a smart meaning you can see you'll be able to see the multiple slides which we are going to refer in future you'll be using the word called smart okay whenever we use a word called smart it means we have used an automated device automated device in the sense it is nothing but an embedded device which in meaningfully uh, provides a life meaning to a machine we are providing a life to a machine so that it will be able to think as like a human and to provide uh, multiple phenomena multiple analysis or multiple outputs as like a humans right the next one related to the connectivity it is related to as i told we have three concepts for uh, automation of it one is related to the networking specifically it means the networks which is exclusively tied with major providers right so we could have seen about the embedded uh, systems which we use for the mobile phones which is having a 100% connectivity we have for now so such kind of connectivity is all coming to a picture which is actually a key feature of iot then coming to the sensors which actually the embedded people or the electronics people has designed it so which all the iot instruments or even the iot uh, devices which we have in market all have those sensors so these sensors transform the iot into a passive network or in a kind of an active network so that uh, this all the machines are getting interconnected into a single phenomenon then coming to an active engagement active engagement is nothing but the way of immediate response whichever we need for the iot devices so uh, this active engagement is also one of the key feature of iot and finally with the small devices whatever devices we have for with respect to the iot it is all the minimal devices which has been integrated with multiple phenomena say for example as i said so in the case of ecg before 5 to 10 years we need to have a separate machine or a separate device to capture it but in the case of a normal watch whichever we people wear it we are able to capture the heartbeat rate for now and then with respect to the pressure whichever we people have it even now in a hospital few hospitals they still have a kind of a metal related phenomena to measure it but we are able to get at least an approximated output in our watch itself right so we have minimized the size of the devices which is again a feature of iot so coming to the advantages of iot first would be the improved customer uh, engagement 
because being into uh, like a sector uh, of IT sector, we people would be identifying lot of customers and the psychology of each and customer. Every customer would be very different, right? So whatever the analytics we provide to the customer should be impressing them. So as like for IoT, whatever the analytics, whichever is provided by IoT is being impressing, impressive for the end users, which is actually the customers. So that the interference of the customer interaction to the mission becomes more richer, and it is able to achieve the maximum target audience. That is the uh, actual benefit which we have with IoT. Second one with respect to the technology optimization. Technology optimization, like by this word itself, people would have uh, would be able to understand. Like if I say for IoT, we, IoT itself is not a separate technology, right? It is an integrated solution with multiple technologies. We talked about uh, artificial intelligence previously, and I said about machine learning. I said about embedded systems. I said about multiple technologies related to uh, civil or mechanical, whatever it is. It becomes an optimized product so that more potential improvements on that particular product is capable to be achieved with respect to IoT. Then, uh, then provided uh, the further one is related to a reduced waste mechanism, where uh, like um, we are able to monitor the real time things and we are able to identify whether there is an overflow or underflow of any resources, so that we, the entire management is able to identify whether the resources are being optimized, used or not. Even in the case of a a countries like India where the government uh, need to identify whether there is any uh, misleading resources or mismanagement of resources is there, right? Because of it, uh, people would have identified about a lot of duplicate ration cards previously, right? But nowadays it is all stopped to a certain extent. So that the maximum resources, the need of the actual resources is being utilized only where, where and ever it is required. And finally, with respect to the enhanced data collection, Previously, whenever the people require for a collection of data or a collection of a weather report or a collection of a pollution report or for a health record, people would be having a lot of papers, a lot of paperworks and a lot of manual errors as well in that paperworks. So all those are being avoided with respect to the IoT. So next slide, it would be surprising for this particular session, but still, even though we have advantages, there would be few challenges in any technology, which we have a future understanding or we can say a future requirement of solutioning for those particular challenges so that those challenges can be rectified and that can be added to an advantageous part. So I did not mention about the disadvantages. All these can be taken as a challenges which the future engineers or the current industry is currently working upon to finalize the solution of these. First related to the security. So this to certain extent, it has already been addressed because the leaves, whichever, uh, because this is a, IoT is a kind of a tree kind of a structure where the leaves are actually exposed outside, even though the roots are not exposed, right? So since the uh, uh, leaves are exposed outside, it is again visible to the attackers. So security is actually a big challenge. So there are a lot of technologies and security mechanisms because IoT is accessible anywhere and everywhere with the, the usage of just internet, right? So uh, that is one uh, major area which the current industry or the current uh, researchers are currently working upon to optimize the security mechanism. Second, related to the privacy mechanism. So obviously, if security is a concern, then privacy would also be a concern of having the exposure of the personal data. Third, would be related to the complexity because IoT systems are not being used with the traditional technologies whichever people has already been exposed of, it is with the top notch or the niche technologies, which currently the people have started studying, right? So obviously the complexity of that particular IoT systems needs to be addressed so that it is easily developed uh, by the traditional technologies as well. Then with respect to the flexibility, um, I like to say uh, the integration of the particular system with the existing product, say if, if we have a normal fridge in our home, uh, for integrating an IoT with a normal fridge, it would be very difficult of the resourcing mechanism, right? So because of which the flexibility of that is being questioned. Whereas in the case of uh, actual automated or IoT enabled the fridge, if we want to purchase it is going to cost more. But still this is being addressed to a certain extent, right? 
because previously we don't have smart TVs, so we were using only the normal TVs. And now, for making a normal TV to a smart TV itself, we are having a lot of dongles and other Chrome or any other devices which we have externally, which we can just buy for two thousand to five thousand to make a normal TV into a smart TV, right? And finally, the bolded one which I have is the compliance, which is very very important from an industrial standpoint because. there are a lot of business standards and security standards with respect to compliance say for a banking platform so there would be a lot of regulations which is enabled by the reserve bank of india which needs to be obliged just if we have a technology we cannot directly go ahead and implement those things right so all these compliance parameters whichever is already proposed previously should also be imposed into the iot mechanism so that everyone or uh, everyone will be able of compromising the compliance parameter so that it is actually up to the mark or as per the standard we can say in that way so proceeding with now starting with the technical parts so i thought of covering the initial 15 minutes with these theoretical items then coming to the technical parts uh, here i would be covering few of the embedded things which is required for the iot with respect to the hardware so with respect to the iot sensors that is specifically related to the active and passive measuring devices because uh, the rf modules uh, which manages the communication by the signal processing or by using the wifi or by using the zb because people would have seen about the zb or xb uh, embedded boards radio transmitter or even in the case of a duplexer uh, all those needs to be included into the iot sensors so you you if we are hearing about the recent iot devices right uh, we, even in amazon there are a lot of uh, accelerometers magnetometers or gyroscopes or a kind of uh, pressure sensors humidity sensors lot of sensors are being available in the market which can be used for developing the iot hardware uh, arduino is one of the board which uh, as i have mentioned previously arduino about arduino arduino is one of the board which can be used to integrate with that sensor so that we can use to measure so wh whatever the watches smart watches which are you people have in hand right it has a lot of sensors related to gyroscopes temperature sensor so that it will identify the temperature of your body and again the pressure sensor so that it will be able to identify the blood pressure levels with respect to the salty content which ever you have in your body and again with respect to we would be are having the fast tags now all right where we have the rfid sensors to automatically uh, detect the amount and all so all those come under the sensors category which we have then come comes to the wearable electronic devices so these sensors and wearable electronics are interlinked with each other say in the case of uh, for wearable electronics in the case of head like we will be using uh, iot enabled helmets and glasses because people would have uh, recently seen about the uh ac enabled helmets and camera enabled glasses right all these all come under the wearable devices and even in the case of next we'll be having the collar devices or the jewelry devices in the case of arm we already have the wristband or in the case of uh, rings whatever we use it will also come into the category and in the torso we used to have the clothing or backpacks because nowadays uh, uh specific this is one of the for the torso related to the clothing with respect to iot now they are the, the manufacturing industries of the dresses has started to provide uh, covid free dresses and all like the tissues or the wears the stitching whichever they have in their clothes is made in a manner so that it is covid free so that the it will be in a manner of a mask whichever we use it right so that all those are covid free so all those things so that by using that particular shirt or a particular t-shirt we'd be able to identify uh, like uh, how many dust has been enabled in that dresses so that we can identify the pollution metrics of the travel whichever we have gone and again in the case of final one for feet we can say for the socks or the shoes say in the case of handicapped people who are specially enabled people uh, um, so that they can identify the number of uh, for a normal people they can identify the number of kilometers whichever they have walked and again for the handicapped people they can identify how much pressure that has been imposed on their legs so all those can be embedded and finally 
with respect to the standard devices, whichever uh, we use it, one by the desktop, I don't need to explain that, people already use it, tablet, cell phone, and again, we already have the other connected devices related to routers and switches, right? So all these are uh, different IoT hardwares, whichever we already have in practice. So, so once we complete with the hardware, we'll usually go with the software. So if you, if you want to pro identify or if you want to develop a IoT product, you need to identify a hardware and then with respect to the identification of the software and then the developer tool, whichever you need to further proceed with. This is how the process should start and it should complete. So in the case of IoT software, the initial would be the data collection. So it would be the collection of data, whichever we, we are going to do with respect to the hardware we already had. Because as I told, we used multiple sensors or we'd be using the multiple watches. So with respect to it, what are the data we need to collect? So it is overly the dis uh, distributing of the data over the devices, we can say in that way. And again, a device integration, say in the case of your wrist, uh, in your watch, in your wristband or a watch, whichever you have, multiple features are being integrated, right? So that information from one device or from one sensor or from a one hardware is being transmitted to the other hardware to identify a specific solution or anything as such. So this is how the IoT software goes into a practice. In the case of a real-time analytics, so in the case of a real-time analytics, we can see uh, with respect to, uh, even for the COVID situation, we are able to identify that uh, the police used a drone-related mechanism to identify the cluster of people wherever they are available as clusters so that they can separate the people. So all these come under the real-time analytics where we need to identify, even in Google, we have started that particular uh, feature for now. So we are able to identify the less traffic route or the more traffic route which needs to be avoided. So all these are the real-time analytics which needs to be shared. Best example related to the weather conditions. So all those are the real-time analytics, whichever we can have. And then related to the application and the process extension. <clears throat> so for these uh, application and the process extension is nothing but the, uh, the actual application. Say, for example, if we have deployed a particular hardware or a software in an IoT for a specific content, or if in case for a future development, if you want to increase that particular usage, what all the usages we can increase. So the identification of those application and process extensions is also here with respect to the IoT software. So at the end of the session, I'll be showing one specific portal, uh, which is organized by a separate organization, where if you want to identify the problems of IoT in any specific sector, or if you want to identify a solution for an IoT in any specific se sector, you can go to that portal, you can uh, very well uh, learn the use cases, whichever they have done, and search for the open opportunities or the challenges with respect to the specific use case, and you can go ahead to work upon. I'll share that portal as well to you in the screen so that people will be aware of that as well. So uh, next, so since we have already saw, uh, seen about what is the need of Internet of Things and uh, what is the specific usage of Internet of Things, what is the hardware whichever can be used for Internet of Things? What are the software whichever can be used for Internet of Things? Here is uh, the list of uh, details. This is not limited to only these details, okay? So these are some of the few details where actually the Internet of Things is actually a need because of this lot of applications which we are, which I am going to see in future is going to be a part of, okay? All these paved away or a kind of a, uh, all these are actually required for the Internet of Things to specifically identify the need and also for the solution. So uh, the massive potential of IoT is the first one, which is an improved performance. Second one with respect to the reduced cost. Third with the innovative services. And fourth one is a new revenue system because the revenue system which is incorporated within the Internet of Things is totally new and it is very high potential revenue as well. So here is the base IoT architecture, which starts from the sensing and identification. Here I can say one thing uh, related to the sensing and identification. Here is where your uh, embedded small devices comes into picture. 
you can see with respect to each and every phase in all these four tracks of the architecture you will be having your embedded device which is being integrated in the second one related to the network construction even here you would be having the lot of clusters or wireless sensor networks whichever you would be having to to a different structure third related to the information processing which in lies with the data center and searching or a smart decision mechanism security mechanism or a data mining mechanism all these comes into the information processing say parameter then with the integrated application it is an actual end to end application whichever you are going to use it as i said wherever you are going to see a word smart you are you are going to identify that some smart devices some smart embedded devices or some smart application is being integrated over it so these are the four different layers of the iot architecture so uh, so this is what i have with the iot okay so people might confuse uh, i am fine so you have explained about all this iot what is that industrial iot iot you have explained all these things all these are covered over here what is industrial iot that would be a question with many people because even many people have even asked me with that particular question so here is where we start with industrial iot which is so in iot there are bits and fragments of multiple steps here and there where an end to end solutioning of a problem is not being identified say for example as i said you are having a wrist watch right or a smart band okay if you want to analyze only your pressure red blood pressure levels using your wrist watch or a wrist band in the case of iot people has proposed a system only by using a pressure meter directly just with the pressure sensor which can be just placed over your wrist to calculate it okay and again if they want to calculate the number of steps they again need to provide one more sensor for identifying it and all these are in bits and pieces so the integration of all these into a single phenomenon is called as industrial internet of things where a single data or a single capturing of a particular data can be used for multiple phenomena instead of capturing a data from multiple levels and a single requirement of a solution can also be used for multiple phenomena rather than providing a solution for each and every levels this is how an industrial iot comes into picture so you can see over here over the representation in the slide you can see there are lot of sensors and lot of devices and lot of stuff which is over there just i am give i have given a representation of a smart city mechanism which the government is very much insisting of for now related to the enablement of the smart cities and other stuff okay so here you would be able to see that at least a close to 25 parameters it is not only limited to this that's what i am saying okay just for a representation i am able to give a 25 parameters over here in which you can see over the right upper corner you can see smart roads smart lighting intelligent shop shopping noise urban maps all these come under the transportation category which can be provided as a single product and again for the vehicle auto diagnostics and whatever the stuffs whichever we have inside the vehicle we can cluster it into a single stuff and industry can provide as a single product right so these are all the different problems which we have with respect to each and every steps of the society which needs to be integrated by multiple technologies to make us a product of industrial internet of things that is what the objective actually is with respect to industrial iot okay i hope this would have provided a clear idea iot is nothing but a bits and pieces of solution in which our people have already provided from the researcher standpoint or from a project standpoint or from an or from a normal uh, end user standpoint whereas industrial iot is nothing but collecting all these solution parameters and fra framing a consolidated solution so that you have a single product on your hand now, right you have a single product for measuring the blood level whatever it is okay single product on hand and people suffering from heart attack they have a sensor in the heart which not only uh, just uses the uh, identify the pump level of the heart 
along with it it also identify the blocks which ever is available over the heart and also it monitors the uh, quality of the blood or the problems which they have with the blood so all these are integrated as a single product instead of using bits and pieces without any control or without any standards that is why industrial iot is also a superficial iot i can say that is a is an enhanced iot which makes industrial iot okay so here are some of the looming opportunities which we have with the machine to machine interaction for the internet of things say first in the case of uh, industrial stuff uh, in the case of industrial stuff you can see four points which is which i have mentioned which includes uh, climatic monitoring or in case it can even include the weather based monitoring second with respect to the automotive ones it can even be a parking traffic flow or in the case of an anti theft detection and even for an alerting mechanism for the traffic whatever it is this is just the examples which i have provided over there and again for the environmental standpoint in the case of agricultural standpoint military standpoint medical standpoint retail standpoint and customer standpoint okay so these are all the different looming opportunities which we have in place and the products the industrial iot enabled the products has also started coming i'll be explaining few of the products which we have in practice for the industrial iot so that people would have a clear understanding or uh, you people can even uh, go to google and search for these products and identify how much cost is there i don't i don't uh, ask you people to buy it out you can go and see how much uh, how much products is already been started to exploring the market so that uh, how the future is going to be after some five years right it is going to be further more stabilized uh, technologies or the stabilized iot devices which we are going to see for the over years so here is one simple example for the shopping applications so people would have heard about amazon opening its uh, new uh, shoplets in india right it is not yet implemented but amazon has already have uh, already has its own shoplets in the us and all where they have a scenario of a smart shopping mechanism you can see the first step while a person is entering the door you can see the scanner will identify and tax to her clothing uh, the clothing whichever the people wears according to it the scanner will identify and assign a tag and the second uh, second step is like whenever the uh, with the, within the different racks whenever the customer passes upon the racks will start to announce hey uh, this is uh, this uh, rack has oils this rack has uh, rice and other stuff okay so that it will explain parallelly if it is integrated to the customer's mobile phone if he is having a smart home at home it can even say you have only 5 kg of the rice with your total people in your home having a five members the 5 kg of rice will not come more than 10 days you need to further process 10 kg of rice to have it for another 30 days so that is how the smartness of the application is being developed over there and again the with respect to then the whenever the customer starts to move the goods the reader will automatically reads the particular stuff and uh, 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 once the customer picks the goods it will identify that this particular good is into an empty level so we need to order it from the stockist and that stock will come into place and finally whenever it is paying the goods it can be even with the kind of uh, smart card or even with the cash because in us uh, amazon started initially by using the dollars physical dollars but what happened for now is like uh, they have stopped using the physical paper dollars due to this covid situation and they have enabled it using the amazon pay devices or it can even be done by using the smart cards so here is what the intelligent home a simple example of the intelligent home whichever uh, is being available okay this is one of the specific stuff smart egg tray so uh, this can even be done or uh, as a project or even people can identify uh, like if there are any other additional things which can be provided for the smart egg tray okay simple thing let me explain what this actual product is and how this product actually works with respect to and there are a lot of multiple embedded things as well in this particular product this is actually a product from quickly and uh, uh, ge general electrical where uh, this is a wink egg miner people used to say uh, egg miner okay so they have the level of intelligence in uh, their living as well as on also in the kitchen so here in this egg miner 
it already has a wi-fi enabled device in that particular reminder and you will be installing the wink app in your mobile phone or a tablet whatever you have okay and uh, your uh, this particular egg minder will be connected to your mobile phone and whenever you are using an egg the mobile phone will start detecting the count of eggs so whenever you go for shopping it will remind you that you need to buy an egg okay that is one feature second feature you can see a led light mechanism here with these eggs okay so that it would be a kind of a green color as well as a red color so if it is of a red color it means it is an oldest egg old egg so you need to use it as a and again there is an orange color mechanism which identifies whether the egg is a rotten or it is a good egg even if it is a old egg it doesn't mean it is a rotten egg right right so th that that is how sorry i changed the slide wrongly sorry so it doesn't mean it is rotten right so the actual uh, the egg if the led glows into a red color around the egg it means we need to use the egg immediately or it might go into a rotten state so this is how a smart egg tray actually functions which is actually an iot device and uh, i i think you people can even go ahead to search in google about this particular smart egg tray and you people can even able to identify that and you you people can even design such kind of smart solutions right it doesn't uh, need only the industry need to solution these designs you can identify if there are any problems with this particular egg minder which you can further fix it out with some additional inputs or with additional technological usage so that uh, you people can propose an additional solution to that industry as well second one with respect to a smart washing machine uh, uh here this is one of the washing machine i understand uh, in one of the constituent uh, colleges of delhi university uh, this smart washing machine this kind of a smart washing machine was implemented first in india by using the hire hire was the company who first introduced it okay so this washing machine was connected to a cloud computing environment and the people uh, the whomever is going to use this uh, washing machine can use their smartphone to make a reservation or if they want to schedule or if they want to monitor and if they want to pay for that particular service also they can do with this particular uh, uh, smart washing machine with the with their own cloud account okay and this particular smart washing machine will uh, like will remind the owner to identify that they have this much kg of clothes which needs to be washed and if it is washed it will again uh, tell the particular end users that the laundry has completed and they need to uh, like take out the clothes and all and the drying has also completed and this particular process of this particular automated washing machine or a smart washing machine happened in that particular constituency and college for almost 6 months you won't believe there wasn't even a single issue reported for this particular smart washing machine okay all those whichever was received were the appreciations with this specific uh, smart washing machine so and if you want to buy a smart washing machine for now why would enable washing machine it is going to cost more than 1 lakh rupees i understand it is very high for now but when the solutioning keeps on getting easier the cost of the products is also going to come down people you can understand why you were why we were buying smart tvs for 32 inch some 3 years or 4 years before it wasn't less than 50000 rupees right now we are able to buy smart tvs at 32 inch or even for a 40 inch smart tvs at the cost of 12000 to 15000 rupees so that is how the products of iot or iot products is going to come in the future so here is a hypersonic system a uh, hypersonic system is one more thing related to agriculture uh, like uh, how much water is being passed through the agriculture or the tunnel for that particular aggregation mode and how is the health of the plant it is a complete monitoring right whatever i have said for now with respect to the smart tech monitoring or with respect to smart washing machine it is not a new innovative technology it is all the existing solutions which ever we had but only thing is like we were all doing it manually it is all now integrated to a machine to machine interaction that's it that is what actually iot is iot itself is not a new technology 
it is a technology which integrates multiple technologies to provide a solution which we have a manual intervention or a manual intervention is actually a problem so even in the case of a glucose monitoring as i have already said uh, related to the glucose monitoring and the health issue monitoring this is one of the parameter then in the case of a smart lightning people would have seen lot of products in amazon and flipkart related to uh, this uh, uh, smart lighting whenever uh, like even people would have uh, seen about the google assistant enabled the lighting features as well and also with uh, amazon alexa enabled the lighting features as well so all these come under the smart lighting i don't want to explain smart lighting lighting to a detail level in the case of smart ac people would have seen products related to ifb and other products uh, related to smart ac and again with the smart sleeping system to track your sleeping here comes the weather system so weather system in the sense like now even the uh, weather forecasting stations because you can see now a lot of people has come into place previously we used to get update only from the government related to the weather forecast but we are getting updates from multiple people and from multiple sources because of their knowledge along with it they have created a lot of technological monitoring stuffs in their placement as well so because of which the smart weather station this also includes multiple sensors and also multiple boards in place with the multiple sensors so that the pollution level or the millimeter level centimeter level of the rains and also the humidity level and uh, again with respect to the multiple parameters we, we are able to get uh, the humidity level and other stuffs in the google alerting itself right it doesn't mean google has has uh, embedded a lot of uh, devices across the forum or across the world for them right like it is from our devices from the local devices whichever we have google is picking up the data since we have enabled to take the data from us and uh, google is capable of providing those uh, solutioning related to it and these are some of the applications of it and uh, related to the government applications in us they have started to implementing uh, implement the smart garbage bins where the corporation officials or the government officials will be notified on the uh, fulfilling of the bin so that the actual necessary actions can be taken even in the case of smart gardening as we have already uh, talked about the hypersonic stuffs so related to transportation as well there are a lot of internet because if i explain one or two devices which has the iot you would be able to understand like uh, okay these are the multiple stuffs which we have the iot specifications in place so that these are the multiple opportunities which i have for iot in place these are the multiple problems which i have even with industrial iot which needs to be addressed so uh, that's what i was explaining these things so now coming to the technologies which we use for iot uh so this is actually the technology road map of the iot internet of things so you can see like uh, from 2000 how it got evolved and uh, now it is actually the physical world web where we are able to interact with multiple technologies and multiple people in a single forum so you can see the iot technologies even while uh, while i am explaining about the iot Uh, i was talking about the hardware communication protocol software stuff here there is one more integrated platform because previously what whenever we talked about uh, we did not care about the storage mechanism but here in the case of industrialized uh, stuff we have a storage problem in picture so we need to identify the cloud platforms which needs to uh, actually address the problems whichever we have related to the storing of the iot data collection or even the data retrieval part and other stuffs so here are some of your stuff so here are some of the uh, smart objects which we actually use in industry of it one of it is arduino so so here for identifying the each and every stuff and for programming each and every stuff i am i'll just share the arduino portal and other stuff so that if you go there itself you'd be having a lot of modules which you have available in place in that particular portal you can go ahead to learn that particular programming and also to how are you going to uh, like a program your embedded system so whatever the devices which you have for internet of things are the embedded devices so how are you going to program the embedded systems what response you are going to get from the embedded system and what kind of solutioning you are going to 
uh, provide for the exceptions which is being raised for the embedded systems at all. So here is one of the example. I've just zoomed that Arduino board to just uh, give a view to you people. So here are the multiple embedded sensors and uh, like acuteus, which is actually available in the market. So specifically related to the sensor, whichever we have for water tank or for water leakage, all those sensors can also be integrated with the solutioning while you are preparing using, using the Arduino. Even for the machine or in the case of a lighting, if you want an automated management system. So in a simple practice, if you have the technical knowledge of Arduino, what you can do is like you can create a smart home within your house itself. So that in a basic, you won't be wasting your electricity bills in case of uh, the electricity running, even in the case of, even in case if you are unavailable at home. Secondly, wastage of waters, and you can smartly manage all the things. You don't need to worry about it. You can have a personalized assistant for you as well, a computer assistant using an embedded sensor who will wake you up at a correct time in the morning. And again, who can manage all the stuff, manage all your meetings, manage all your learnings, manage all your examination stuff, what schedule you have for your exam, everything. So these are all the, some of the sensors which are available in the market. Uh, it is not limited only to this. This is, these are just the sensors which I have for my knowledge. So I just provided it. So you can take a screenshot of this and uh, you can, if you are planning to implement any kind of IoT kind of stuff, you can go ahead to order this. This sensor doesn't cost much. The maximum cost, whichever I think for a sensor would be around 1000 rupees, okay? Because you, you will get only a raw sensor. You need to program it on how you are going to use that particular sensor and for what purpose you are going to use that particular sensor. So here are the communication protocols which you have. And even while by buying the sensors, you need to ensure that uh, in the solution, whichever you are going to de derive, those sensors could be capable of using these communication protocols so that the internet would be in connection state because that is a basic problem which people would uh, face at the starting level. So here are multiple protocols which uh, is used this is just for an example, but still if you are you going to integrate a sensor along with your uh, programmed level, it is going to establish a connection automatically by a RESTful HTTP. So it is not going to cause any connectivity issues once the connection is established until or unless the sensor fails or the protocol fails. So for respect to the data analytics part of the IoT technologies, so here is how the start will go with the data and that data will be organized into a format to give an information because data alone is not going to give information the data to be processed to get into an information that is by giving the answers of who, what, where and when questions, then with the knowledge on how questions further going the machine or a human, if they want to find a solution, they need to have an understand of it. And finally, it would be the wisdom where the final solution can be provided by the machine. So whenever you are going to design your embedded system for the IoT, you need to you need to make your embedded system or the IoT solution application, whichever you have developed, to process towards all these starts from data, information, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. So that uh, by the at the stage of wisdom, we'd be able to attain the solution or the product, whichever we need to solve a particular problem. So here are multiple cloud steps, whichever I thought of uh, updating you people related to how are we going to uh, connect it, connect the cloud technologies with the different sensors. Simple thing is related to, if you are using uh, Google, if you are going, planning to use Google Cloud, you can very well use Google Assistant device. You can integrate your embedded uh, things into the Google Assistant device, and then you can use it in Google Cloud very easily. In the case of Amazon, you can very well use uh, Alexa, and you can integrate your uh, embedded sensors or anything as such with the Alexa. And you can use the Alexa to get integrated with your Amazon Web Services as a storage provider. You can even develop your solution in Amazon Web Services. Because even cloud providers provide uh, the IoT solutions. You can see here, For uh, I have not included Google here because Google is actually a development platform. So I have not included specifically as an IoT solution here. Whereas in the case of AWS, you have the IoT solution, IBM, Bluemix, you have it. 
and open sensors have that very soon things space have that these are some of the cloud providers which give the iot solution technology solutions so we have already discussed the brief of challenges in iot which is simply a replication of that into industrial iot okay as we have already said the privacy uh, attacking mechanisms compliance mechanism and the standardization of the technology all these are here highlighted as a challenges in iot finally related to the arduino i am not going to cover the technological part of arduino just wanted to give you people uh, uh, like an ad identification or a kick start on what needs to be done if you want to provide an iot solution if you want to design an iot solution if you want to solve a current ongoing problem which requires no malware intervention so this is just a brief of uh, you know it is actually a board which you can make to communicate to a pc say so if you are developing an application in a pc pc will provide a response where as a man you will you will analyze and you will provide a solution to the pc right but here in the case of arduino you can use atmel microcontroller chip which you can use it up <coughs> sorry which you can use for connecting into a pc and then you can enable the system uh, a pc to con to continue its interaction with the arduino board whichever you have designed for uh, the solutioning so here is just a brief of it which i have already shown you so you people people who are new to arduino they can go in google and they can search for the arduino kind of a stuff you can just buy a sample arduino board and you can start developing it if you have your specific interest so here are here is some of the sample code structure which is actually a string based analysis control only this is again a object oriented programming language arduino again so whenever you are going to study about the embedded systems it doesn't mean you need to study only about the hardware it is about the hard software as well right so with respect to the software uh, if you are fine with respect to the codes like it would be very much helpful specifically previously we used to say uh, whenever we want to do anything with the embedded system it would always better to do it with linux okay so if you were good with shell scripting or with the powershell scripting you can very well integrate it with the embedded systems so that the programming languages whichever you use it can make the embedded systems to understand how you are going to do it so this is a arduino ide once you create an account so here is the link which i have provided once you create an account with arduino you will be able to uh, get a console over here where you can connect with your embedded devices and you can uh, like start programming it and start start enjoying your output so uh, these are some of the references which i have with you. once you have a log created an account itself with respect to the ide uh, like you can create all these functions and you can start your programming and stuff so that's it i have from my end i take another 5 minutes so that i'll share my screen and i'll uh, as i have told about the arduino which is an embedded uh, board i'll be showing one more thing which is actually uh, use case uh, analyzed portal let me stop my share here and i'll share my browser again to you i'll okay here is my browser let me share my browser so you have one more thing which is called as thing works so in this thing works it is ptc.com this is what actually it is Power. you can just open so people who are interested uh, about uh, the research aspects of iot and what are the solutions whichever is expected in the market you can very well go here go to this portal and you can have a see a menu over here you can just click on that i'll just show you just a sec so here you can see the case studies over here right so people uh, like uh, if you want to do any projects or if you are planning for any solution you don't need to start from the scratch okay that is what i want to say with respect to iot because most of the stuff if you start searching related to iot kind of a things or with respect to the challenges it won't be available easily in the internet with respect to iot because it is a just a kickstart technology or a pop up technology right 
so if you want to identify a specific solution or a specific use case for a specific problem whichever you have whichever you want to solve you can very well go ahead to this particular site and this is a few of their works which they have done and few of the use cases whichever they have done so you can very well go ahead to search with respect to the technologies and you can search with respect to their products products whatever the use cases is there if you want to identify with respect to the industry uh, like uh, what kind of industry you want to work upon say for example if you want to work upon the electronics and high technology i'm just clicking that you can see a lot of use cases available over there and in that use case say uh, here is one of the use case by just to i'm just opening that you can see what are all the solutions they have provided and what are all the challenges they have identified okay so you can take this as a problem and this problem can be uh, worked upon with different available technologies whatever it is with respect to embedded systems artificial intelligence in embedded systems or machine learning or with any programming or which uh, with the algorithmic optimization whatever it is okay can be worked with all those and you can derive a solution for it so so this is the last thing which i thought of explaining to everyone so that uh, people would be aware of what needs to be done and how things are needs to be managed so that's it i have from my end so uh, over to the participants for any queries or if they have anything else to be asked with so that i'm happy to answer related to these stuffs yeah thank you sir for your session uh, yeah now the uh, platform is open for q and a session anybody has any doubt uh, any question regarding any point what sir has covered uh, the platform is open uh, also uh, one announce announcement like a uh, feedback form uh, to share your thoughts about the session uh, it shared in the chat box so you can just uh, feel the that also so that we'll know about uh, your inputs uh, regarding the session and what you want in future uh so yeah platform is open for the q and a session yeah anybody because i think there are uh, more than 100 participants including students and faculty all over uh india almost i think sir took very nice session so there are no questions if still anything uh, people can open up you can raise uh, either in chat uh hello uh sir so my name is dr shripad deshpande i am faculty at uh, sit so uh, sir it was a very nice session very informative and uh, you balance it very well uh, right from a beginner to uh, somebody who is deep into iot world uh, it was uh, equally good for uh, for both the ends of the kind of uh, uh, person uh, i have one question uh, this uh, current scenario of uh, 5g and etc coming up uh, how it works with uh, the iot technology i mean does iot uh will improve upon as uh, you know 5g and uh, communication technology will improve or yeah, yeah. will it stay at the same stage or how how it will uh, change so with respect to the 5g technologies or with respect to the old t technologies whichever jio has introduced for now uh, whichever jio uses actually so iot already has its compatibility and it has started to work with respect to that technologies you can see jio mart and other stuffs which has already started its presence so iot the framework for the iot is actually compatible with the uh, the industrial 4.0 technologies whichever is coming for now so obviously 5g technologies is also enabled into the iot so that it can also be implemented but the only thing is like uh, as i have shown the sensors whichever is available in the market for now it is with respect to the implementer to identify which specific sensor can be used 
for that particular technology to be to be incorporated for uh, to implement an embedded solution for an iot solutioning part so if we are clear with the actual expectations or if we are clear of what kind of solutioning we are going to provide by using the top notch technologies it is obviously a compatible one for that okay uh, i have one more question uh, like for example when uh, we are working with embed system uh, we have uh, like a domain specific microcontrollers so for example uh, i have some microcontrollers which are very specifically suited for automotive application there are some microcontrollers which are specifically suited for uh, say medical devices so are there any microcontrollers which are specifically suited for iot is there anything like that so uh, that is what uh, specifically as i said iot it itself is not a specific technology it is a consolidation mm -hmm. of multiple technologies say for example if you are using the sensors for automo automo automotive uh, technologies or if you are using the sensors for the civil engineering construction work all those can be integrated into the iot by using anything by using if it is connected to the internet it can also be called as an iot technology and it can be also told as an iot node device so iot node device in the sense it is actually a capable of connecting to all the networks so that it is able of providing a solution that is what oh, so specifically yeah. it is not restricted to any technology or with respect to mm -hmm. any specific devices okay yeah yeah okay yeah. thank you sir Uh, yes any more questions yeah i think sir there are uh, no more questions uh, i think uh, you have given a wonderful talk and quite informative starting from the uh, pre internet era to the current situation uh, almost you have touched all the aspects of embedded systems uh, like so all like even the application domains like uh medical to software and household everything so thank you very much sir uh, on behalf of symbiosis institute of technology uh, i would like to formally thank you for giving your time and sharing your knowledge with us uh, like with this thought only ki uh, the applicability of embedded system throughout the field uh, almost 2 3 years ago uh, we have thought to start such a program and finally uh, we are ready uh with the masters program in embedded system so from the upcoming year we are starting with that so uh like just like this uh we feel uh the need of your inputs at time to time uh in progressing with the our course and improving on it uh again we feel honored to start uh the tech talk series that uh, what we have started uh with the lecture from you so uh we are very much thankful to you sir uh hope we'll have more such collaborations in future too thanks to you and thanks all of you to uh listen to this and providing your uh, feedback so one more thing we would like to share with you ki through the feedback uh, we are getting it was quite nice and uh many people are saying that they got into now few new insights also uh in the iot and iot field so thank you very much sir thank you my all the best my wishes and all the best to symbiosis institute of technology for taking uh, such kind of initiative so that all the students will be benefited for it even the people who are saying it would be much benefit so that how the technology era is going progressed in later in later days thank you thanks yeah. and all the best thank for the interview thank you yeah thank you aditya sir and thank you sir uh, thank you aditya sir and uh, uh, aditya sir i am already in touch with you so uh, i mean our our uh, interaction doesn't end here this is actually a, 